Hand in Hand was founded by Percy Barnovic and Dr. Kalpana Sankar in 2004. As a senior businessman, Barnovic travelled the world and witnessed poverty first hand. This led him to thinking about how to deal with poverty. Monetary donations were too cost prohibitive. Barnovic recruited an Indian development specialist, Dr. Kapala Sankar, and a job creation scheme was developed in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Hand in Hand was born. Hand in Hand works on a five pillar strategy through its Village Uplift program. The five pillars being Child Labour Elimination Program, Women's Empowerment and Microfinance through Self Help Groups, Citizen Centre and Democracy, Health, Environment. Sophie Loof, the owner of Partex Marking Systems Group, decided to sponsor Hand in Hand with its project in the Panaporan village in Tamil Nadu. A significant financial donation was made at the same time as starting Partex India in Bangalore. A delegation of employees were selected as ambassadors to visit the village just after the funding started and then returned two years later to see how the implementation of the five pillar strategy had improved the lives of the villagers. The children now attend a child-friendly Panjiat school, which means it has the best interests of the children at heart. This boy is being presented with medical books donated by Hand in Hand. He is the first person from the village to leave the school and study medicine. The school children are very poor and have nothing. Here the delegates are giving out books, pens and teddies. Sophie and her father, Torbjörn, hand out the microloans to the women entrepreneurs. A self-help group assembles and decide how best to spend the microloan. Using a microloan, a village shop is opened selling local produce and snacks. Saris are manufactured using a loom and materials purchased via a microloan. A dairy is opened manufacturing cheese, yoghurt and butter. Garlands are produced using locally sourced flowers. Chutney is made using spices and vegetables then sold at the local market. Core, a type of rope, is spun by hand using coconut husk as the raw material. This is then sold to specialist suppliers in the city. Mats are manufactured using scrap material bought from the garment manufacturers in the cities. The mats are then sold to wholesalers for distribution. During the first visit to the village, the delegates were able to witness the opening of various citizen centres.
The results of the anemia tests and treatment are published so the villagers can see the benefits of attending clinics. Hand in hand have purchased a water filtration system so the children have clean drinking water in the classroom. These villagers have been treated and are undergoing treatment for eye problems. Pots and pans are distributed to the schools and centres to enable community meals to be cooked. Sophie and Torbian examine a Syntex tank which holds a thousand litres of water. This has been pumped up from the village well. A cooking stove is lit using biogas generated and stored from waste gathered from the newly constructed toilet facility. Trees were originally planted by the delegates on their first visit. On the return trip they were able to see how the trees had grown. These will ultimately provide much needed shade for the school children in the playground. Gates have been provided to keep the children safe during the school hours. 